Hello friends, it's Logan, and I'm here because this is going to be the first episode of a series that I'm starting up that has to do with uh, music. Not just music though, it also has to do with video games. Have you guys heard of this new video game called Rocksmith? Well, yesterday I went out and bought it, and uh, well, that's what we're going to be talking about today. This is a rhythm-based video game, but it has a little bit of a twist. It's not your guitar hero or you know DJ hero or dance dance revolution. I mean, it's got the same concept, but it uses a real guitar. And a lot of people have been claiming that it can teach you guitar. And that's what this series is going to be about. Does it do it? This is uh it's going to be a series of vlogs slash you know gameplay, you know all that different stuff. And uh it's my first, you know, attempt at quality over quantity. Overall, what it is is really just testing out the game and uh, coming up with a complete review. And that's really what I want to do. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is my guitar skill. Now, you know, I play video games. You guys know that. And I'm okay at Guitar Hero and stuff like that. Like, I'm just average. So we're going to see what a average rhythm game player, I guess, and a average and a lower skilled guitar player. You know, we take both of those things and can I learn to be better at rhythm video games and better at guitar? Now those are the two factors. I mean, this the guitar is more important because that's what they're trying to sell. So that's really what I want to do. Now, to explain my my guitar skill, I mean, I have an acoustic guitar, I play chords, I play chords and I try to sing at the same time. I mean, that's really what I'm doing. I mean, that's that's why I bought the guitar so I can, you know, play song. But that's not what Rocksmith is about. It's about being the guitarist. It's about, you know, being in the background playing the the you know rhythm playing the lead and then coming in rocking a solo and uh and basically just you know being the star now my skill on that you know i'm not i'm not the kind of guy that uh has any experience in rocking a solo you know uh really playing any type of lead i don't really have that skill i mean i I enjoy playing chords and singing and I mean it's going to take the singing away from me in this game and it's going to put in some more advanced guitar skill and I'm really looking forward to seeing what this game can do. I mean it's going to test out my skills, it's going to push me to the limit and then it's going to continuously add more things and try to make me better using my video game skills. So. Let's see what happens. Now the first thing to talk about is the game when you purchase it. I purchased the full kit. And uh, from that, you know, from the full kit, you get a guitar cord that goes into the PS3. Then you get a guitar strap, two picks, and the game. So from that, you know, it's it's a pretty complete kit. Now, to talk about the guitar, it's a Junior Les Paul made by Epiphone. I mean, it's Gibson quality. It is, as soon as you pick it up, you realize it is a real guitar. It uh, feels like a real guitar. It's solid wood. It's beautiful it really is beautiful it's a junior les paul i mean it's it probably would run you around what they're charging you in the game uh you know considering the game would be 60 bucks the guitar would would technically be 140 dollars and uh yeah it's it's probably about that you know it's a lower end quality guitar it's made by gibson it still has this really beautiful feel to it so it's about time to get into the gameplay and I'm gonna pop it in and we're gonna try this out we're gonna see what this is going to uh, you know what I need to do to accomplish certain things and become a better guitarist and that's uh, one of the things I'm really looking forward to so uh, it's gonna cut over to gameplay I'm gonna commentate it in a bit and hopefully this uh, video comes out with a a lot more quality than quantity and that's what I'm trying to go for here on the channel make it easy peace so as we boot up the game makes sure that you have your cord plugged in and wants to know if you're right or left handed and what kind of headstock you have on your guitar. And um, then we go into sound check and I mean the sound check is pretty basic. You 
play your uh, your strings as loud as you can and then you tune your guitar and uh, it just makes sure that everything's ready to go it even tells you how to uh, hold a pick I mean it starts off really basic so if you're a person that knows absolutely nothing about guitar I mean this is something that could uh, really help you out I mean it's really geared at the beginning towards beginners <laughs> Fully tuned. To really help out with the intimidation factor for anybody who's really new at guitar, the game tries really hard to teach the simple things. I mean, as it's teaching the core mechanics of the game, it teaches you what a fret is and how to strum a note. And then it goes into how to strum an open note, which is literally just plucking a string. And I mean, to somebody who knows even the littlest about guitars, this may come off as a little ridiculous. But it does help out people that may know nothing. Now, for anybody wondering, it makes you do this. There is no chance of doing anything else in the game until you've completed the sound check, which is a little frustrating, but I understand why they're doing this. Now, the first two songs that you get a chance of playing are My Girl by the Black Keys and... Satisfaction by the Rolling Stones, two great songs, and I decided to go for the Black Key song. And uh, at the beginning, you know, I had a little bit of trouble. You know, you have to work on the sync. Sometimes, if you're using some sort of optical uh, optical device or, or speakers, you know, anything that um, isn't uh, analog, it's gonna have some sort of lag. So, you know, as you work on it, I found that it's it's really easy at the beginning. But uh, it gets considerably harder. So what I did was I played the same song, the Black Keys song, over and over again until I came to a point where I felt fairly uncomfortable, you know, where I, I was missing parts. And uh, very early on, you'll notice that if you are really rocking a, uh, a song, it will actually level up mid-song. So it'll say phase, phase level up on the side and, and then the more notes will start to show up as you see here and and uh it's it's funny trying to um to get into it to, to you know kind of continue to do these different things uh in mid game you know to make these adjustments and try to uh to continue forward so my first impressions is that this has the capability of teaching you how to play guitar but you still have to put in the time and i think that's the major thing is that it is going to not force you, but kind of keep your interest and make you want to continue forward and play the game. Because, you know, learning the guitar can be a little boring if you're not, uh, you know, shown any success. But as you continue to play this game and you continue to get challenged, uh, it really does actually keep your attention span, which is probably the most important thing when you're learning guitar. So uh, after day one, uh, this is what you see. I'm uh, <laughs> not the greatest, but I mean, I'm having fun playing it. So take it easy, guys. Peace. This is a 